So I was living outside of the US for an extended period of time, changed my view about the United States. Now, let's keep in mind that I was not born in the United States, but a lot of the growing that I've had to do as an adult has happened right here. A lot of my core you know, thoughts and ideas, the formation of those thoughts and ideas have happened right here in the United States. And I believe I'm just as grounded here as anyone who has been here in this country for any amount of time. But over the last couple of years, I've spent a good amount of time outside of the United States, traveling around, meeting people all over the world. And my view of the United States just keep changing over and over again, every single time that I come back, not necessarily for the worse, but you know, just things change and people have different thoughts and ideas. I've had to think about this and just had to come up with four ways that my ideas and my thoughts and views of the United States have changed. So if you're someone who's thinking about traveling the world or just you know moving outside and, and, and just going out to see the world, these are the ways through which I have experienced change and maybe you're wondering how that might be for you. And I'm going to go over these four ways and maybe that's something you're also going through right now. We'll see. I moved to the United States uh, when I was in my early 20s and I've had to uh, go through a lot of change when I came here. And growing up in Nigeria, one thing that everyone wanted to do, every young person, was to travel to the United States. It's undeniable that the U.S. provides you with the you know, most opportunity that anyone or any country can ever provide you. Here in this country, you can be whatever you want to be. And that was the goal of so many people, including myself. But then you arrive in this country and as you grow older, you realize that your values and the things that you yearn for in life, the things that really matter to you, uh, strangely, or uh, maybe not so strangely, differs from what you know society uh, wants, and that's what I went through. Uh, you know, the also culture in the United States isn't something that I really uh, relate to. I don't really uh, value that as much as many other people. You know, the fact that you come to the United States, you're supposed to hustle, you're supposed to grind and make money, make lots of money, so you can you know take that money back home. But being here has done just the opposite of that to me, and now. Having detached myself for the last couple of years, I've now started to appreciate my culture, where I'm from, even more. Because when you live in places like, you know, Africa, or maybe some not so wealthy parts, you know, of Europe and Asia and South America, you start to understand, you know, what really matters to people outside of making money, outside of the hustle, outside of the grind, uh, quote unquote. So that's really what I've been through in the last couple of years. I've now started to to appreciate that you know time spent with family time spent with friend being there for the people that matter most to you uh, I think are the things that I value more than the grind more than the also so even if I don't end up making millions and millions of dollars I think I would still be happy you know knowing that whatever it is I'm making as long as it is enough to take care of myself and to take care of the people that, that are closest to me I would still be happy with that so I think being out of the US just resets my brain in such a way that I'm now more appreciative of what I had versus what I have now or what I could have had if I continued on the path that I was on before I started traveling outside the United States and that is the first one now the second one is the standard of living what do we consider uh, a high standard of living really in the United States it is commonplace to aspire to want to live the American dream you know you have a car you have a house in the suburbs you get married you have kids and you know you go to work you come back and you just have uh, you know, it's sort of like a traditional lifestyle right now that is the standard everyone uh, understands this but when <laughs> as I travel more as I get out more I realize that these things are not as important as we make it seem here for example when I used to live back home there's this thing that we always say you can never go hungry or you can never uh, be homeless in a country like Nigeria for example in so many African countries that values community family and you know just togetherness when a country like the United States the standard is so high that you have to be on your toes every single time you can easily go broke here and go homeless and you're just one financial uh, difficulty or one financial emergency away from you know going through the worst phase of your life and what we consider standard here I believe is just not what I consider the standard because nobody really cares for themselves the community the togetherness the uh, spirit of helping each other does not really exist here and that's something that I uh, consider a value of mine being there for each other being there for the people that matter more to you and what we consider standard 
here and what I consider as my standard has changed very greatly since I have traveled out and kind of reset myself back to what I used to you know believe or maybe not what I used to believe but what I didn't appreciate when I had it. I haven't spent time in Niger again in this you know last couple of years I spent a lot of time with my family with my friends and I just appreciated those moments more those moments that we just you know sat down around a table and have a meal and just be carefree and just be ourselves again those things are the kind of things that you lack here because you don't get to see your friends that often you can you don't get to see your family that often even though they may leave in the same city as you or maybe a few hours drive away you don't get to experience all of that and that that is something that I do not want to experience. If I have a family, I want to be close to them. I want to be close to my friends. I want to experience these moments together. And this standard of living that we consider the you know the gold standard in the United States is not just something I resonate with any longer. And that's uh, one of the ways through uh, which my views have changed in the last couple of years. Now, let's talk about the next one, which is what prosperity and financial success really means. Here in the United States, you're expected to make six figures a year. You're expected to uh, be financially uh, independent at the age of 18. Your parent kicks you out of the house. Maybe you want to go get a house, you know, get an apartment with your friends. And that is the sort of the standard here. This, that is what financial, you know, financial success and prosperity means. Even in recent years, we can you know, see that making six figures does not mean anything. Making $100,000 a year does not really mean that you're not going to live from paycheck to paycheck. We have people who make a lot of money and still living paycheck to paycheck because you know as you make more money the your lifestyle just greatly you know increases your lifestyle choices increases and of course your financial burden increases as well so you're never going to get out of this rat race that you know this environment just you know sucks you into and you just realize that you are working you're making money but still you're not happy and that is the standard. That is the you know, what we consider financial success. And that is what we consider financial prosperity in the United States. But as of the U.S., is completely different. There's not a lot of pressure to make massive amounts of money in order to live a lifestyle that is conducive to yourself and to the people around you. With a fraction of what you make in the United States, you will live as happily as you want to. Of course, it helps if you have access to an economy like this where you can make money saying dollars in a uh, stronger currency, then you can take it back to wherever it is and go spend it back there. But we consider prosperity and financial success in the United States is just not what I consider that anymore. I want to be able to make enough money to take in my family, take in myself, of course, my future family as well, but I don't want to be sucked into this uh, bubble that you have to make a certain amount to be in the top 1%, in the top 0.1%. It's just a lot of pressure, you know, for anyone to go through because that struggle, that hustle, that grind, it just never ends. And you find yourself in that hamster wheel going over and over and over again. Now, the first and final way through which my views have changed is that I have now started to have more empathy for people. You know, a lot of my friends still live here, my family, some of them still are here. And before I started traveling and having a deeper appreciation for, you know, what's out there, you know, we are all in the same, uh, in the same bubble, right? Everybody lives in the same uh, mindset of grind, hustle, make money, this and that. And we just never took a step back to appreciate each other and to empathize with each other and to, you know, see the struggles that each one of us are going through and just empathize, you know, with them in that sense. But detaching myself from this environment has made me have uh, more empathy for people. When I see my friends or my family member going through certain things, I, I understand where that is coming from. Now from an outsider's perspective, it's even more real. I understand what, what they're going through and I just uh, wish they didn't go through that or wish they had the same uh, ideology or the mindset that I have now. But of course, you cannot make someone think like you. But I, uh, but I think that not just my friends and family, when I you know, look at people in this environment, for example, I was you know, taking a walk uh, last night and I, was just, I just walked past a woman, she was on the phone and it sounded like she was going through you know, some, you know, rough, uh, some rough times. And I, I, I just, uh, I had a lot of you know, sympathy and you know, empathy for our situation uh, because I understand what she's going through, even though 
though I have actively and you know just consciously tried to detach myself from that kind of uh, environment over the last couple of years and that's the only reason that I feel like I would have been able to do that because when I think back to the lifestyle I was living three, four years ago, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't give a shit about what the next person is going through because I am going through maybe even worse than they are going through. So I would just think at it, look at it from a standpoint of, well, it is what it is. But now it is not what it is. I see that person for who they are and I empathize and I understand what they're going through even though I'm not going through that same thing. So I think, you know, this is really important for you to understand if you're going through that kind of stuff as well. And, you know, finally, what are my plans for the future? Well, I will be here in the nice for the next couple of months i mean some things i you know want to go through i talked about it in one episode of my podcast which i want you to go listen to right now if you haven't done so already it's called a nomad entrepreneur where i talk to entrepreneurs on how they build businesses online how they you know create a lifestyle that they desire uh you can click on the link in the description right now go listen to it i talked about my plans uh for being here over the next you know couple of months and what i am doing in the meantime so if you want to listen to it it's going to be down right in the description and also i have some links down there to my safety window man insurance if you're looking to sign for health insurance while you travel it's going to be the second or first link in the description as well so this is how my thoughts have changed over the last couple of months and years and i hope that you know you watch this video and maybe you relate to it as well if you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing and if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to get to them my name is daniel and i will see you in the next video take care now bye